Hi guys, I'm back with a movie review. So I watched this film twice. I watched this film on Friday night and I watched it again on Saturday afternoon. So I watched the latest film. So I watched the 2023's Two Duty Member Car. Translates You are liar, I am cunning. Abbreviated as T as a T J M M. So it's a 2023 Indian Hindi language romantic comedy film directed by Love Ranjan and written by Rahul Modi. Love Ranjan produced by Love Films and T Series Films. It stars Rumbi Kapoor and my favorite Shraddha Kapoor. Rumbi Kapoor as well is my favorite as well. He's the future star of Bollywood. Alongside Dimple Kapadia, the 70s actress who was seen in Pathan. She is also stars in this. And Boni Kapoor, a son of Arj um, is a father of Arjun Kapoor and a brother of Anil Kapoor. Yes. And you have the comedian making his debut, stand up comedian Anubhav Singh Bussi <coughs> makes his debut in this film. In key supporting roles, <coughs> excuse me. So, plot Rohan Miki Aurora is played by Rambir Kapoor in the film. So, that's his character name, Miki Aurora in the film. Yeah, his character was good in the film. I enjoyed his role. So, yeah, Miki Aurora. Rajan uh, is the son of Ramesh Aurora. Ramesh Aurora is played by Boni Kapoor in the film. A rich Punjabi business magnate and lives with his family in Delhi. In along with his best friend Manu Dabas, who is played by Anubhav Singh Basi in the film. So he plays his friend in this film, Rumbi Kapoor's friend, Manu Dabas. Secretly work as breakup cons consultants, helping people break up with their respective partners. Mickey and Manu travel to Spain, so the locations of the film is fantastic. Pathan recently was shot in Spain as well, so beautiful locations in the film guys so they tra travel to Spain for Manu's bachelor party so have this bachelor party in the film they are competent competent by Manu's France is Kletchi Kletchi along with her best friend Nisha Nisha makes a good entry so did Rumbi Kapoor at the start. Nisha is played by my favorite Shraddha Kapoor. So she's looking stunning with a bikini and all that. In the in the in a bikini costume and all that. Yeah, she's looking outstanding. So so Nisha is played by Shraddha Kapoor in the film. Tini Malotra. Her name character name is Tini. Mickey and Tini hook up and eventually fall in love with each other. Upon returning, Manu and Kalichi get married while Mickey and Tini introduced each other to their respective families. Both the families accept them relationship and start preparing preparations for their wedding. However, Tini feels she is not ready for the marriage and decides to break up with Mickey. So that's Rumbi Kapoor. So Tini contacts the breakup consultant on phone, not knowing that it is a fact Mickey, and asks for help in breaking up with him. And where that he is speaking with Tini, Mickey agrees to help. Mickey suggests that Tini 
and her partners match each other horoscopes and it is they do not align then the marriage can be called off however the horoscopes allies perfectly so the match is uh, like uh, they go to the priest and no uh, uh, priest rings and he says on the phone uh, your stars are uh, perfectly match and the plan fails mickey soon finds out that client is mon mona other than plan fails so tini and is a uh, is heartbroken as she did not discuss for uh, her concerns with him and tries to sort out the misunderstanding he decides to plan along with beat tini at her own game and suggests tini to do a jealousy left which can lead to other breakup tini hires a guy to act as a old friend you have a cameo of a cartigarian in the film of hers and dances uh, uh, actually with him in front of mickey but mickey pretends to not notice and remains unaffected they are miss miski miss mickey suggests to do a loyalty test and teeny teeny hires a a girl a girl is another the cameo is played by nurus nurus apologize for my words nurus burjurcha nusra burjurcha that say nurus nusra burjurcha she makes a cameo just like kartik aryan in the film so teeny hires a girl to seduce mickey and if he cheats on her then she could easily break up with him but mickey does not give in an axe as a lawyer partner following this plan as well posing as the breakup consultant on phone mickey asks tini the reason for breaking up with him tini reveals that she does not want to live with his family after the marriage and wants to live independently so they can family the really and not wanted to make him choose be sweeter be treater and his family she wants to break up with him mickey does not want to leave his family so this film is about the uh, living relationships and uh, like uh, mickey lives in a joint family and uh, Tini just wants to live separately so it gives a message how how the young generation does nowadays they want to move ahead so they like they want space so they show this kind of message in the film so yeah and she wants to break up with him Mickey does not want to him to leave his family for the decides to go ahead with his breaking of the marriage he suggests to Tini to say that she has be received a job offer in Bangalore and that she would permanently move there after the marriage going by the plan she tells this to mickey and is angrily lashes out on her saying that she should have discussed it with him be forded as this is no exemption acceptably to him their marriage is broken off and their parts way someone sometime later they must they meet again as kinchi's baby shower tini foot is injured while dancing as the function and mickey along with his family care for him which makes her realize that value of living together as a family mickey's niece choti while is talking to tini the heights tini hurts out unique praise that she heard from mickey's that causes tini to realize the breakup consultant was in fact mickey she confronts him about and it says that she is disappointed by even after the knowing the trust he did 
not only sort out this matter with her and that she still loves him she says that she would be personally leaving for london and leads to the airport mickey's family advise him to not let her go by com compromising his love for them mickey along with his whole family rushed to the airport to stop teeny and and reach her just as she is about to board the flight she tries to make mickey take the oath he made her take and then mickey proposes to her to marry mickey and uh, she accepts they both are getting married and live happily together as a family so yeah it was a good film i enjoyed it i watched it twice so it's a it's a, well, a rom-com film directed by love ranjan he gave the previous film karte guardian films and nusrat burrocha films pyar ka panchanama pyar ka panchanama 2 Uh, and uh, Sonu ki Titi ko Sweety, and this is the next film. The, and made another film called Dead Happy Are They with Roger Devgan. We recall pleasing fifty-year-old uh, dates this younger girl. So yeah, this film I enjoyed. The music was fantastic. The storyline about familyhood, like Mickey want to stay uh, together in a joint family, and uh, Tini does not want to stay. she wants her own space so they showed uh, today's generation what today's generation are like and they don't like to live in joint families they want to live separately and the monologues is keep cutting on the dialogues is keep cutting on monologue after monologue after monologue and it was okay it was little bit cringe but it was little bit funny but it was a joyful film and uh, martini does this pose and all that and he and he does his fingers like that Rumbi Kapoor, my God, that was that was cringe, but it is what it is. Love story, they connected, and it's about joint family and the separation, and they want space. Yeah, in today's world, so it's a good message, and the film is good. I enjoyed it. Brilliant, man. So yeah, Rumbi Kapoor as as Rohan, Mickey Aurora, and the film character, Shraddha Kapoor as Nisha, Tini Malhotra. The character in the film, Dimple Kapadia, as Rain or Aurora, Mickey's mother in the film, Anubhav Singh Basi, the stand-up comedian made his debut. He did a decent job as Manu Dabas in the film, Rumbi Kapoor's friend in the film, Mickey's best friend, Boni Kapoor, as Ramesh Aurora, Mickey's father, Haseen Kaur is Minnie's Mickey's sister in the film. Ambay Rani as Ashish Mickey's brother-in-law, Monica Chaudhary as Kinsi Kinchi, the boss, Manu's wife, Inia Inia Yat Varma as Sweetu, the young little girl, little girl you would say it. She did a good role as well. Mickey's uh, niece, she plays Mickey's niece in the film. Jitendra Kaur as a uh, Uh, as Mrs Aurora Mickey's grandmother Jitendra Kaur has been seen in other films in Punjabi films and all that she has some Punjabi dialogues and this she was decent in the film you have uh, Tini's father Tini's yeah as a uh, Rajesh Jain as Mr Malhotra Tini's father as as Tini's father so IS Raza Mishra as Mrs Malhotra as Tini's mother in the film Dhruv Tariyagi as Kunal Varma Tinu Singh as Jyoti Sharma Kartik Aryan played a, a special appearance in the film as Rahul cameo Nusrat Burucha is uh, as Ananya is also a cameo as well from her directed by Love Ranjan written by Rahul Modi Love Ranjan produced by Love Ranjan Ankur Gang Cinematography for the film is Sanjana Krishnan Krishnan Rabha Chandra edited by Akil Ali Chetan Sulanki music by songs Pritam is my favorite Pritam who give Brahmastra Lassi and all that good songs 
स्कोर हितेश सोनिक प्रोडक्शन कंपनीज टी सीरीज फिल्म्स रिलीज डेट ऑफ द फिल्म वाज 8 मार्च 2023 रनिंग टाइम फॉर डू ड्यूटी मा कार इज 164 मिनट्स कंट्री इंडिया लैंग्वेज इज हिंदी बजट वाज 200 करोड़ इंक्लूडिंग मार्केटिंग एस्टीमेट बॉक्स ऑफिस वाज 220.1 करोड़ लाइक आई सेड वाज अ सक्सेसफुल फिल्म Two Duty Mein Makar theatrical released on 8 March 2023 considering with the Holi weekend Holi like cost festival colors in India so they prove colors at each other is a f- festival of colors in March so this film came out in Holi weekend this did good business the film received mixed reviews from critics Two Duty Mein Makar has grossed over 221 crore in India worldwide the second highest by a hindi film and the first highest by an hindi indian film in 2023 yeah i'm pretty really love the to duty makar the music i loved as well yeah it was a little bit funny and cringe when they do that that so that does this and the uh, rambi doing her fingers like this yeah and the songs were brilliant ji singh was my favorite tere pyar mein he did other song other uh, emotional song in this when they break up or dard diya means i mean pain or oh, dard diya yeah that song plays you have show me your jhumka that was another song showing the hips and all that shraddha kapoor and um, rambi kapoor it was a good film the location was fantastic in spain especially shraddha kapoor in a bikini she goes into water and uh, first side first life by rambi kapoor as mickey showing his body i'm cool i'm hot and all that yeah he started to like her and he said hi 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 like that he's going crazy so i would because she's looking beautiful and stunning shweta kapoor with a bikini and all that so this is a first time she did this kind of character but she was a working woman in the film as well she wanted got job offer and this uh, had a argument and they fighted you didn't tell me then the music it the film was good it was good i enjoyed it so yeah, after brahmastra people give the negative for brahmastra but i enjoy brahmastra last year the vfx the special effects multi star of film it was it was similar to marvel avengers you want to call it the indian version of brahmastra so yeah people give the negative thoughts on that i i loved it I will give I will see Brahmastra I have seen in the past I will uh talk about it again it was good good after Brahmastra but Shamshera was terrible disaster that was terrible that was the bad film but this one is Rambi Kapoor is shine up into the stars he's the generation of the Kapoors like uh, his grandfather was in the 60s 70s late great Raj Kapoor is his uh, grandson then he had his father in the 70s rishi kapoor who passed away in the year 2020 he was my favorite he's the next generation of kapoor he's the he's is making his uh, good career yeah first film they don't do well for him but he's making uh, his uh, career successfully with burmaster he did and uh, two duty makkar because he's the next generation of uh, kapoor raj kapoor family family members like he was his grandson his grandfather was a famous actor back in the 60s 70s in black and white days rishi kapoor was another favorite of mine back in the 70s and now his son is going in the right direction he has a bright future guys in the bollywood industry his career is bright he's 40 year old but he has that lover boy image yeah lover boy image he has and he, he plays it very well and the buff lip lock is too much lip lock in in the film i don't mind because it's a love romantic st- drama story and comedy as well yeah so yeah lots of lip locking and kisses because they go well because stunning looking hot looking sexy looking shraddha kapoor who would not kiss shraddha kapoor why not because it goes well with the story and the music was fantastic the storyline about family and the breakup and the, it's just like today's generation storyline and uh, it gives a message like uh, you should live in a family together 
you know, join family. And uh, yeah, today's generation like to stay separately, one day on space. So they show that in the film called Do Duty Ma Makar. You a liar, I'm a con man. So it means I am a liar, I'm a con man. Yeah. So there you go. So Do Duty Ma Makar is gonna get full marks. I'm gonna give it 9 out of 10. I loved it. Rumbi Kapoor, Shraddha Kapoor cast 10 out of 10. They, they were brilliant. The story was good. The music was good. The relationship, the characters was fresh. Fresh pairing for the first time together on, on the big screen. And I enjoyed it. Two Duty Bakar is a winner. And yeah, I loved it. I watched it twice. And uh, it was good. Yeah. It's a good film. I enjoyed it. So yeah, two duty Makar I watched on the USB drive one second. Clarity was good. Everything was good about the film, like it was original. Like you're watching on the Netflix. And this film was also premiered on Netflix this year. This month. Actually, this month it has been 20th of May it was uh, uh, premiered on Netflix as well. After the Fata will be theatrical. So yeah, this this film came out on 8th March. 2023 I enjoyed it and I loved it Cardi Garden's character was good he had big hair messed up but he after that he is uh, set his hair in the film in the character as Rahul and he had a brief cameo on this because he did this love dungeon films like I said mm, PR Ka Panchanama series and uh, Sonu Kiti Tuki Sweetie back in 2018 so yeah, and Nusra Burucha as well give us screen presence, a cameo as well. Everything was good about the film. I enjoyed music, the story, the the cast, everything was spot on. So two duty makar gets nine out of ten for me. Rumbi Kapoor ten out of ten. This guy has the future in Bollywood. Yeah, like his father and his grandfather. Grand grandfather was a successful actor back in the 60s 70s his father was a great actor back in the 70s and uh, yeah now his son is making uh, him proud the uh, younger generation right he's 40 plus now the next generation of the Kapoor family members yeah after his granddad and his father the both in the film industry and himself proving everyone he's good he's good actor he he can he is a good actor he can deliver kind of this kind of performance he did with Bachana and Sino the vibes of Bachana and Sino when he goes into beach and the bikini and all that make me a little bit vibe back in the 2008 film that was similar to that as well but this music the film everything was good the location they shot in Spain location was beautiful after they shot in Bhutan yeah that location was good and the, the location of the film, the beach, everything, the, the everything was good about the film. The dialogue was keep going, monologue, like as a, yeah, rom com kind of film this was, and I uh, pretty enjoyed to duty in my car. So yeah, that's that's my movie review for 2023's to duty in my car. Absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Fantastic. So hope you like, subscribe, and share. Stay safe, play safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.